Good evening and welcome to Arcane City. This is Audio Dungeon. I'm your host, Tony Hansen, joined by the rest of the Audio Dungeon crew. And right now, we're about to do Episode 8, Dark Society of Arcane City. This is Episode 8 out of 12. We are getting very close to the uh, the ending of this uh, season. And it feels like we just started because we did only eight weeks ago. But time flies, my friends. <laughs> last, le last week, we let you left you guys off in a very precarious position. We left you off in, in the, uh, the Thieves Guild underneath... Uh, it was stormed in by Lord Eldrin and the Seekers, and you guys don't know the fate of yourselves, your characters, after that moment, and we're going to go to that right now. As we heard in the recap, this is day 15, and that's 15 days, the first day being the day that Caddick arrived. So, and that's Bardo, obviously, keeping that, keeping track of that. Days have passed. You guys, I, I imagine you know where you've went. You guys have been brought into Arknum's Tower, and you are there, and you're all in there for the questing. You've been put into a, to a holding cell, and you've been had periods of time. You guys have been split up, um, and sometimes you're together, and that's over the last few days. Now we're on the day that you know that this is day 15 now, and this is the day where Zerilius is supposed to be making a speech to the whole city sometime today. He hasn't made a speech or anything in public probably for a few months at least, Okay. Finally, you guys are brought back in. For the first time in, in a, I don't know, 30 hours, you guys are put back into the, to a cell all together. And I'm going to let you guys role play that out. And just a reminder for those uh, just checking, checking out the story, uh, Brooke is playing her new character uh, and not playing Maya, who has now died. So, yes. Um, okay, so you guys have Manifested Magic coming. You're not able to get access to it right now, and Brooke, you're supposed to, your new character is supposed to get a, a uh, loot drop. That's coming too, but you can't get it now because of where you are. It would make no sense in jail if we go, and here's a magical item. <laughs> <laughs> so well, You'll get magic items in jail? Isn't that what the point of going to jail is? By oh, the man. way! I was going to jail. Here's a matching shiv for you. <laughs> <laughs> the plus one shiv. <laughs> I like shiny oh, he's thinking one, about please. it. Look, the wheels have been. We had some uh, great ideas, by the way, for uh, Greek Fire in its quest. I was asking before the fans to give us uh, good names for Greek Fire. What should they be in tabletop in, in the world of Vendaria? Some people, uh, a couple people, both voted on Hellfire, Liquid Fire, uh, Dark Fire, Arcane Fire, Red Fire, Hydro Pyros, um, Sunken City Fire, Pyros, Gnome Flame, technical. Gnomish Flame. I like that, Gnomish Flame, because the gnomes would, would probably have concocted it. We could go the uh, Game of Thrones route. Call it uh, Pyromancer's Piss. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go with... Pyro Piss. Let's go... Well, that's great. Let's go with uh, <laughs> Gnome's Fire or Gnome's Flame. You choose. Which All is right. Um, gnomish, like gnomish Fire. Gnomish Fire. Gnomish Fire. Yeah, Gnomish, gnomish fire. fire. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. I helped out. Guys, so you are together. You can role play now. You're in a cell, and again, this is the first time you've been in a cell through a while. You've been interrogated by by Seekers, the Geomancer, by Arknum, and sometimes by Lord Eldrin. You haven't talked to your father yet, though. They've had me in a cell this whole time. Yeah, you've been in a cell. <laughs> I was waiting for that. So <laughs> you have been healed and such, but you've been in a cell the entire time. Just to clarify, how did we leave off last week? So unconscious. <laughs> last week, a bunch yeah, of yeah. Raise your hand if you were unconscious last week, so if, so people could see. Yeah, no, so you I wasn't on guard. I was just in fire. Yeah, me and him were. Right, you were hurt. <laughs> I was just on fire. I was just on fire. Uh, so yeah, so so Dan, Vin, and Brooke's character were, were uh, unconscious. You were on fire. You came running to Lord Eldrin, and Tom, your character was still up or un unconscious. I was still awake. Yeah, I think it was at one hit point. Oh, you're at one hit point. Yeah. So, so you guys were basically were taken in by the by the seekers, and for those of you are unconscious, you're basically waking up in custody, and that's been your last three days of your life right now. You've been healed. You they took all your items away from you. Um, and they also have these interesting, uh, lovely uh, shackles oh, that are no. very large, and they're made of iron, and they are around your neck. Goodness. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. So, uh, you guys, again, you are now in the cell together. You can role play. Take it away. <sighs> Robin, are you nuts? You almost burned me alive. As I, I almost boned myself alive as well. I apologize. I was not thinking clearly. Uh, I am uh, sorry. Very well. I only thought was to try and disable the assassin as quickly as possible. Well, what are they going to do to us now? Robin, vigorous, you know this, this city well. 
Suppose you two uh, I don't know. Who cares? Okay. What are we gonna do? Get get out of this? And go back to the fire and the fury? Where they're gonna kill us anyway? Our lives are over. No, Wolves. If I could only speak to my father, I could perhaps we could somehow we could I don't know, get to the Thieves Guild. Your father doesn't think you're capable of doing anything. And now you're in a cell. And then what? You're going to tell him that you were working for the Fire and the Fury? You were working for the Iron Circle? This is it, guys. No, you were there to, to apprehend Burr, right? Exactly. That's what you were saying. I could only explain the circumstances. Uh, uh, so that's, that's what that I was doing there, too. That brings a good point up. Uh, we've, we've, all been, <laughs> we've all been questioned pretty you know, in thoroughly and intensively these last few days. Um, who was honest? Uh, and, and out of game, now we pretty much reveal who told the truth and everything. Because that obviously will affect their future, perhaps. So you can, you can answer in-game to a bit, but tip us off out of game if you told them everything or not. Not. <laughs> no, staring, not. staring at me. <laughs> yes. You were honest. I was honest. On everything? You were honest. Meanwhile, you're talking about all the lies you're going to spin to your father, but you, I, you were so honest. Wow. Yes, I decided it was the best <laughs> to just explain. I thought once I did so, my father would have me released and we could take action from there, but... Okay, so I, you, I just, you told the truth. Uh, all right. I, I, I just want to... Okay. I said you I was were honest. Too. Not because it was the right thing to do, but just so that your daddy would get you out of prison? <laughs> Please tell me that's not. What I don't you're see why to say. I have to have can only have one reason for being honest. It's always the right thing to do. And yes, I thought it would be also the practical thing to do. All right. Sometimes Fair enough. That, that that is the best way. So but I'm not certain it's I don't know. I don't know now. Dash, answer in character, did you, did you tell everything or not? You said not before, but No. Okay, so you did. So Dash didn't. Vic. No. I told them as little as possible. They're gonna keep me in a cell. Let them keep me in a cell. At least they're not gonna send necromancers after me to torture me. Relic. When I was questioned the first time, I said nothing. You get questioned one time, and spill everything. Uh, I'm sorry. First off, I think the pressure from an interrogation applies a little differently to a robot with no sense of honor or decency or things like that. All right? I've had enough of this city and the deceit and the deceptions and everyone's plans and manipulations. But yet, you complied with all the deceptions from the start. I complied. Complied. I was forced into it. Compelled. As were the rest of us. Yeah, I thought we were in this together. Well, that's what I'm saying. If, if everyone could only understand the circumstances, we would all be okay. What, what circumstances specifically? How we were all compelled into this. None of us have... We're not part of the Iron Circle or the Thieves' Guild. We have no designs against the leadership of this city. Right. Uh... <sighs> I understand where your point of view, uh, and and it is a good play, especially for a noble son to say, this is where we're at, this is what happened, we did do bad things, but we were forced to do them, and that if we didn't comply, we would be killed, and our families would be killed as well. It's not, you know, look, uh, I, I don't think you should hold it against them, that's all I'm saying, folks, but uh, I, I do agree with Vic, I think that, you know, this is probably the one of the last days that be alive, because um, <laughs> if if the fire and the fury and the thieves guild there does not kill us, if if the the city does not send us down to the dungeons below the city, uh, the, the iron circle will kill us for betraying them. Even the thought of betraying them, right? Brooke. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's I, I, to me it's poetic justice that we have these iron circles around our neck. It's kind of uh, our life writ large these last two weeks. Brook. Um... Let us know in character if you uh, said everything or whatever you did. Huh. 
pardon me, but who was forced to do bad things? Was that Burr forced to kill Arthur? Was he forced to do that bad thing? I, I, I don't I don't know uh, what, what Burr was forced to do or not forced to do. I know he was a prisoner here. That he was not someone who... He was, was a prisoner free. here. He was? He looked rather free to do what he liked to me. I told them... what I was looking for. Nothing more. Okay, so you guys are, are in, your, in your cells. Eventually, um, some seekers come, and they um, open the door, and you see all of your amulets start to, to glow like... And they glow like a, uh, like a soft blue light. <laughs> this way, down the stairs. Anyone resist? As soon as they say, I just no. walk out the cell. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys all start walking down down the <laughs> tower. This is the same cell that you guys were in the first time you were in a cell. Uh, they bring you down out of the tower, and there's two seekers in front of you to take lead. You guys start following them. Two seekers go behind you, and they start guiding you through the city. <clears throat> and at first, you're not really sure where you're going, um, but looks like you're going to find out a little bit. We have uh, some donations coming in. This is... Uh, 5,000 stars from Evan wow. Moniz. Wow. Magical item for the next person Whoa. who successfully steals a coin. Write that down. Oh. He says, write that down. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Wait, are coins well, you, you got something coming. No, they're not. Positions Your here? coins have to be a hand apart near each other. And you also put it out so far in front of you. Like, you can put it out, you know. Otherwise, it'll, well, never, it'll never happen if it's so far in front of you. Wait. I, 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 gotta right, be so how about like this? Reach. <laughs> yeah. Too go. far, because I can't reach. So the, guy, for people who are wondering right now what we're doing is, right, we have, we have a game mechanic in here that I, we, we allow them to keep, well, I tell them to keep their coins. No, that's no good because I can't reach. Close to each other. <laughs> and if anyone can steal a coin from each other, they will get 25 experience points plus the coin. And it's just a fun thing to help uh, your your friends not trust each other. It's so fun. Wait, what reward? <laughs> oh, 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 you, mean, you mean like already? <laughs> <laughs> what does the next person get who steals a coin? But the next, because Evan has just donated uh, uh, stars, it's five... It's 5,000 stars for as a magical item. Magic. So the person, next person who steals a coin and can have that coin without anyone knowing for five minutes, you will get a magical <laughs> item plus 25 experience points plus one gold coin. Wow. All right. So good luck to, good luck to the, fight, the four gentlemen <laughs> at this table. This guy. Uh, l l let, me, let me tell you a, a long story. Keep my hand. Please, oh, pay attention. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, everyone, look at look at the monitor, please. Look at the monitor. Hello, over here. Uh, uh, we also have one th one thousand stars from Evan, also for a reroll for the lovely Brooke and the well dressed Tom, since they can't Aww. steal points. So each of you get get a uh, a reroll there. Thank, Thank you, you, Evan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Evan. It's nice of you. Thank you, Lord Evan. Yes. Um, DM, just because you, you didn't ask, but you asked everybody else. Uh, out of I, I didn't answer. I didn't answer out of character. Do you need to know out of character what I did in interrogation or just in character? Yes, you can. You can yeah, I guess I do. I, I assume that you didn't, but tell me if you did. No, yeah. I, in, I, out of out of character, I told him about 90% the truth. I tried to make myself look a little bit better. Okay. In character. The truth with, with some, some little flubs. Oh, so you pulled a me, Tom. Congratulations. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You guys... Um, <laughs> You guys walk through the streets, and people are, are looking at you, and uh, they don't know like who you are, what's going on, and you're being driven through the streets. And as you get through uh, close to the Arcane Hall, which is the hall that you guys have been through before, and it's less your war, you guys had a battle in that hall. And that's the hall with the, uh, the large uh, throne in the middle, and you saw that there was a long balcony going across, and it was wide open, <laughs> if, you, if you remember that from the Celestial War. Uh, so you guys are being led through that hall, and as you're there, there's a, a ginormous crowd. It looks like probably half the population of the city is here. And they're all looking up at that balcony, um, waiting for something to happen. You assume it's for us to release his speech. But you're not uh, brought there to be left outside. You're brought there to be, be uh, brought inside to the Arcane Hall. And they bring you through the steps in all different ways and up, up into there. We go up or down? Up. Okay. For now. <laughs> for now, you go up. <laughs> um, you guys walk up. And 
when you get near the top, they have you wait in a hallway. This hallway goes very, very long. Okay. Next to you are double doors, and these double doors go into that that room with the, the throne room and, and the balcony and everything I just said to you. It's a ginormous gymnasium-sized room with stone and statues and things like that. Down this hallway goes about 200, 300 feet. Remember, the size of a gymnasium just runs the length of that, okay? Stone hallway goes all the way down, and the statues here also. At the end of the hallway, you see with the same brace, the same iron circlet, the same iron shackle around his neck and shackles around his hands is Burr. And Burr's being walked out and he, and he looks at you, just gives you a look, doesn't say much, and then you see two Seekers bringing him out. And again, it's very far away, you can't see much, you just see him look at you. Behind him, you see another person walk out. Everyone roll perception check is a d20, uh, except for Brooke. Brooke, you do not have to roll perception check. Uh, everyone roll a d20, and you're looking to achieve a 15 or higher. No. Negative. 18. Natural 20. Okay, so the two of you recognize, and Brooke's character, uh, Alora, recognizes. Alora, right? Okay. Um, you see it. It's Arthur. Arthur, the man, the actor that played Findelar, that was killed. Oh my. Oh. You see him look over, and like he kind of opens his eyes, shocked when he sees you, Alora. And then before he can even make a reaction or anything, he's he's escorted past the hallway. You even see one of the guards look over, like almost like alarmed that someone may, may have seen. Huh. <laughs> Isn't that the man who was killed? <laughs> Yeah. What? Uh, Where are they taking him? Where are they taking him? Where has he gone? Shut up, bro. Well, but Burr, they're, they're probably going to execute him in public. I don't no, know. No, no, no. That was Arthur. That was Arthur. Did no one else see him? Yes, I, Tell me you didn't see him. You're a liar. I saw him. Uh, we, we, Both of those things him. are true. I'm so, I don't know how to. I, um, I didn't see him, and yes, I'm a. Uh, but. but <laughs> wait, you're, you're, <laughs> Your, your friend, the man that you I saw you just now. pledged you, you the man you pledged your life to avenge. You just saw him there. Alive, Alive and there, yes. They were scurrying him through the hallway. I don't. You didn't see him. It looked like him. I saw I, him. I was. You saw him. I'm, yes. Shut up, all of you. It looked like him. We have to go. I have to go. We're good. We You're going to die. You I have right? to go. The doors next to you <sighs> open up, and you guys walk in. And you see you're brought up, and they push you so you, you like line up before you like walk down this tremendous uh, way. And you see a large uh, red carpet that goes from where you are all the way down to the throne room where Zerilius would sit. But Zerilius actually is getting up and walking over to the balcony right now. The Seekers, two of them walk in front of you and face you guys and just kind of stand there. And you know there's two other Seekers behind you guys. So really just walks to, to the balcony. <laughs> People of Source, I now inform you that we have found the killer. A man that has recently been caught by Arthur himself. That man is known as Arlock the Arrow. And he is here. You see, uh, see two seekers walk over and they walk Arlock out. And Arlock's caught. He looks like, you know, he's just trying to be stubborn. And, you know, he's an assassin who's been caught. Probably the worst thing, you know, for a, a killer like that ever. He shall be sent below to the dungeons. And he will pay for his crimes. Many people applaud Two people have died, a Seth and a human. A girl named Mai, I'm told, and a human named Arthur, one of the actors who's in the show. Lies! The 
the, the seeker seeker comes over to you he goes and you see like a like a, a, a transparent dome go on over all of you and you realize there is no sound in this in this area the seeker step outside of the dome everyone i promise you we will protect you we will make sure that nothing like this will ever happen to this fair city again the arcane city has remained through much. We have fought and survived through the Celestial War. When the Red Knight was at our door, we were there to repel them. When Dragana was down below, we made sure that we were safe. And though there may be times like this, where evil fights at our door, I promise you myself, the new Sheriff Lord Elder, who steps out, Arknum, we will defend souls with every bit of vigor possible in our hearts. <laughs> Not gonna get it like that, buddy. <laughs> You guys can bring up a high I wish, <laughs> I wish you caught that on camera. That was awesome. He had his hand going go for the gold. <laughs> that was great. Almost. Okay. 1,000 stars from Lauren Hicks. <laughs> Change the weather. It's my birthday, so make it rain. Hey, happy birthday, Lauren Hicks. <laughs> All right, happy, Lauren, birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday to you. Yep. Happy birthday to Top Lauren red. Hicks. Happy birthday to happy you. Happy birthday to you. Um, and thank you for spending your birthday with us. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Um, you see Zerilius look over now that he's finished his speech and he looks over like very, like a sharp look to all of you. Like not happy about the outburst. And he walks back over to the um, to the throne and behind him you see a uh, very tall black robed <laughs> clearly must be a, must be a necromancer. And he put emotions and you guys are all brought up. Um, you see some of the seekers come close from outside of the room, you know, just any, any like, you know, guards that are around. And you see Arknum and Lord Eldrin appear as well. You guys walk all the way up to, to, uh, Zerilius. I am told that all of you were involved working for Master Thief Burr and Silas. <laughs> the penalty for such treachery and for such treason is to be sent below into the Forgotten City. How do you plead? Well, not, I, not guilty. My lord, as I had explained to the Seekers, uh, the circumstances surrounding this, we, I, How do you we, plead? What is the, What exactly am I pleading to? Son. My lord. Yes, father. You are an embarrassment to me. You will plead guilty or not guilty. The ruler of this city is actually a very clear question. Do not embarrass yourself further. Guilty not, or not guilty? Not guilty. And you? Not guilty. And you? Not guilty. What about you, girl? I'm sure not as guilty as you are. <laughs> and you? I plead not guilty. What are the circumstances, Arctum? They were found below the fire and fury in the Thieves' Guild. They were with Burr, who is a known uh, master thief with the Guild for many, many years. They were caught red-handed by Lord Eldrin himself and the Seekers. We have full confessions from most of them. While they say not guilty, many of them have already confessed. We also have confessions from others, including Arlok, the Arrow and Master Thief Burr himself it is conclusive. <laughs> I believe they are guilty, and there's plenty of evidence to prove it. 
And you, and you, Lord Eldrin, how do you see this? What is your opinion? I can only apologize for my son's behavior. He, is, he has been raised better than this. To find him barely two weeks in a new place and falling in with the, the filth of these other people. It is an embarrassment to my name, but let it be known that I will fight for what is right and push forth the laws of this land. I believe that he is guilty, as well as all of them. I do not see any reason why they should not be sent below. So that is it then. This is very clear. Arkham, Lord Eldrin, you will take them inside, and their fate will be their own. My lord, one word, I beg you. You talking to Zerilius? Yes. Yes? If you've made your decision, fine, but I ask at least for the... Miss Elora Balington was not part of our original workings with the, the Thieves Guild. Uh, she simply stumbled upon us after all the we've already chaos found in the theater. We've already found her guilty. Plus, she has disturbed uh, uh, the Archmage's speech. My speech. Crime in itself. <laughs> Your lies. Lies? I heard you with my own ears. I saw you with my own eyes. And this is a lie? No. Arthur isn't dead. I know it. Take them away. And you know it. I grow tired of this. <laughs> the filth of the Iron Circle will be removed. The um, Lord Eldrin and um, Arknum walk with you. The two Seekers are in the front. The other two Seekers are in the back. And they take you into another room. That room, sorry, into a hallway. That hallway leads to another room and takes you down to stairs. And you begin to descend stairs after stairs after stairs a very, very long way down. Uh, the temperature changes how, how far you go down. And it's probably about a six, seven minute walk of just stairs going on. A couple of times you almost, you almost stumble, you almost fall. And it's um, kind, of, kind of an odd, um, kind of an odd feeling about how deep you've gone. They take you into a cell. And, it's, and it seems like uh, they're checking something out to take you, take you down further. But they put you into a twist cell temporarily. They put you in there, they close the door, and you can tell that the, the bars are magical. We'll be back to take you down in a little bit. We'll wait here for a few minutes. Lord Eldrin leaves, Arctum leaves, and they continue to go down further for whatever reason. The four Seekers kind of hang out around the area. Okay, they're probably within about 20 feet. You guys can roleplay once more. Thank you, Kadok. You told him everything. I thought it made us look, you know, in a reasonably good light. We were forced. I mean, how could we be found guilty of something we were forced to do? Didn't you know your father was a complete and total jerk? <sighs> didn't you know that? Like, you met the man. <laughs> He's an I... ass. He hates you. Treat I... you like dirt. Ah, I, I, whatever. It's I, fine. We're going to die if we're lucky. Now we're going to be driven mad and turned into, I don't know, some sort of mindless creatures or something like that. Uh, this is great. I'd love to say it's been fun, but, you know, it hasn't. You guys just kind of mull around the cell for a while, and um, anybody sit down? There's no bad consequence. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, when a DM asks you to sit down, you're like, nope. I, I, I <laughs> Not now. The, right. I do have a couple questions, though, real fast. The okay. collar that we're wearing, right? Yeah. Um, What is the gem? Is it like... What is the gem? Yeah, you said, it was like, you said there was like a thing that gl glows in the middle? No, the entire collar glows. Oh, the entire collar glows. All right, I misunderstood you. I thought you said there was like a, like a thing in the middle of it. <coughs> Richard Wilde says, can they look around the room? Yeah, they can. Mark Shank, welcome to stream. So it's just a, it's four seekers in here with us? Not in the cell. Well, in, yes. the, in the area. Yep. 
Have anybody else besides the Seekers in here with us? No. There, there, there are, uh, there is another cell right across from you, but it's empty. Okay. How and big is the cell? Probably about 20 feet, 20 by 20. And that's all that's in this level is just two 20 by 20 cells? And then it's, there's actually four staircases coming off. Yeah, I sit down, slouch into the corner. You sit down in the corner and you look down <laughs> on the, uh, the ground and you see a name carved into the stone. For 25 experience points, Dan. What is that name? Ooh. Mm. No one, no one uh, assists. What is the name? It's carved into the stone prison in Solst. A prisoner. Richard Wilde got it right. Is it? I have an idea. Hogar. It is not Hogar. Lump? It is Lump. Yeah. 25 experience hey. points. Yes! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd thing to be written in a cell. <laughs> okay, so you guys are sitting there for a while. <laughs> and, um, Not I, 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 I'm so upset. I, I throw up in the corner. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> okay, you throw up in the corner. Great. Um, it gets better and better. Thanks. That's just great. I'm sorry. You see they come back for sorry. you, and uh, Lord Eldrin looks... Speaking of throwing out, Lord Eldrin looks pale. It's almost like you see like he's the weight of what's about to happen is kind of affecting him a little bit, but he's also doing his duty. They take you out of the, the cell. They guide you back down down even further. And you guys go down to a point where you've reached like kind of like, which clearly must be like the bottom level. And in this, this large room, which is probably about like uh, 100 feet, almost by 100 feet, and a lot of columns in here throughout, um, is a lift. And the lift looks like like rickety, old gnomish technology some kind of like it's an elevator um but it's it's a, it's a lift in the center of the room and it has uh like all the pulley systems on it and things like that um they're taking you over to it two seekers wait on one side two seekers always stay behind you um Arknum goes over to kind of uh, inspect and talk with them for a second second and lord elderin guide you all to to that area in the middle of the room um everyone You'll get on the lift. Does anyone not get on the lift? Um, I mean, I, yes, I get on the lift. Before you get on the lift, he pulls you over and pulls you close to him. Kadok. <laughs> yes, my lord. Don't fail me. Is Arkham saying this? No, it's your father. Oh, it's Elvin. <laughs> fail me. Don't fail me. You, fail. you can do this. What, father? He pushes, <laughs> pushes you on. Sorry. I, I nod to him. Mm. He, push, he pushes you into into the the thing last. Um, Arctum kind of you. Uh, Arctum kind of looks over, kind of like sees you all go down. I'm sorry. Go in, inside. Good luck to you all. <laughs> we send you below. <laughs> The lift starts to go down, and it drops for a minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Oh man! Twenty minutes. Oh man! Role play on the way down. This is this is, this is really deep. Twenty, 20 questions, anybody? <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. Evil, evil, evil. We're still moving. I can't. I can't believe it. It's so far down. Does anybody know exactly where we're supposed to be going? Is there going to be air down there? I don't know. Did your father tell you where they're sending us exactly? Yeah, what was that all about? Let me tell you. What do you know? I simply told me not to fail him. Probably told Probably told him he was a failure. And <laughs> no. Whatever. He dissolved <laughs> the family again. If you got it mixed no, up. I'm sorry, but that, you're a failure. Don't, think you are. don't Kattic, fail I don't think you. Are. I think your father's a prick. That sounds right. That <laughs> no, sounds he right. told me. Yes, not to fail him and to do, he's counting on me to do the right thing, but... Did you already do that by selling us all out? So, I don't know what he oh. means by it in any case. <laughs> what are we supposed Maybe to do? Maybe he just meant don't cry or you try and plead your way out of it and, and like, Another you know, test. take the punishment with honor. Uh, part, I, of, part of does me anyone, thought that. I've only heard rumors of what happens down here. Does anyone 
No. No. The certain. No. Right. Just, no. just stories. I'm thinking Sto- of jumping over the side. It's all just stories parents tell their kids to yeah. scare them. I don't know. Even I've heard the rumors. Yeah, it really is. The dungeons of Souls are supposed to be the most horrible places in Andaria, but I know nothing of what happens there. Look, whatever. As long as no one's telling us what to do anymore. <laughs> be back by midnight. Go kill this guy. Oh, such a hard life you had. What do you mean, me? It's all of us. You're the one complaining. Yeah, I'm complaining. Uh-huh. Because we <laughs> always have someone on top of us. He's, he's the one. It's actually. not the Iron Circle. It's it's Zerilius and his Seekers. Mm, yes. Or is this really that bad that we're going to be separated oh from Oh my everything? God! He's How looking for is. a positive right now. Oh my God! You're the only one who didn't have to be a part of this, and we told you to stay back, yes. and then you puked on all of us. That's true. You really, uh, you yeah. know, he's right. Arthur is alive. Oh jeez. Yeah, but yeah. You're, you're not. Maybe. Don't worry about it. You're dead. Maybe uh, he's uh, magical, yet. you know. I have like, to stay alive. He was all an act. He is an actor, right? What, the, what was the point <laughs> of all this? What was the point of it? Of all our to expose us... something or someone or us or what? them or all of this an elaborate scheme to have us sentenced to the dungeon? Well, not us. Why should We're they care? We're obviously like meaning this, but uh, maybe for somebody else. Maybe. Uh, to catch the assassin or reveal something else. Some, something. Uh, I don't know. Not me. I mean, I'm not important. But I don't know. Uh, Maybe not this you guy. Off. You know. This. Uh, what are we calling you now? Relic. Is it your name now? That is correct. Relic. Okay. Great. Maybe it's maybe it's because of him. I don't know why he's down here. I it, mean, it was I, I'm you who caused all this trouble. I'm surprised they're not like chopping him up into pieces right now or something. We just delivered a crate. We got drawn into this. That's right. We were just doing an honest day's work at the docks. Try to do some good. All of a sudden, you see you see the um, the lift kind of come out of a tight spot and all of a sudden it opens up. <sighs> Air kind of hits you. Damp. Dank. You look around below you and you see so you still probably have about a couple hundred feet to go. But below you, Looks like to be the old remnants of some kind of like um, mining setup. It looks like at one point, or maybe still active, is a whole complete mining town used. But it looks like the same structures as above, same kind of architecture and everything else, just into the sides and all over. And people are living in like squalor on, at different levels of the cave in like buildings that were made. It looks like they were once for a mining village or for a mining operation, and now people are just living out of it. In a, in a terrible state. So it goes wide into a, like, almost like a giant circle around the lift being being almost near the middle. The The entire ca- uh, cavern goes on forward, gets smaller, and then goes out on a stone bridge. Okay? That stone bridge go- goes across and uh, gets, to, gets to like another side where it's basically just a dead end. Around that bridge is just a drop that goes down as far as you can see. It's darkness. And the only other thing that's unusual right now is you're looking down and you're trying to see what's there. And you're seeing a huge, humongous, oversized, it looks like a furnace, but something different. It's a lot of arcade arca- technology. And there's some sort of rod that comes down out of the ground not too far away. Probably maybe like quarter of a mile away from the lift and that rod comes up from the city above goes down and goes in right above stops right above to a point above this large furnace there's tons of people down there as i mentioned they're all like a squalor all different kinds of clothing that's all been, been dirtied and ashed so many million times over and you see down there are um wizards walking around and you see some wizards with blue robes and you see a lot of these, they look like they could be necromancers wearing black robes. And they're just walking amongst the, the crowd, very like slithery and such. The air begins to feel very much like the air that you experienced in uh, episode two. The air was thick and unfamiliar. Finally, you hit the bottom. And you look around, 
and you see some people are just like looking at you, almost like very curious about who you are, and trying to just trying to like to figure out like why you're there. The doors are open, and you guys can go. Role play. Take action. Where are we supposed to go? Um, the doors of like the lift open up. Is that is that what it was? Yes. I step off. I step off and just start, as do I. I start walking. I step off. Yeah. I don't. Let them come get me. Okay, you step off the lift. You walk around. Some people come up to you and they immediately start clawing at you. I'm not trying to hurt you. They're just almost like feeling around if you have food on you. You could tell. You realize that within a couple of seconds. Get off! You hear like, get you have food, anything. We have nothing for you. So get off! Get. <laughs> are there any? Uh, are there any kids around? There are kids amongst amongst these people. Absolutely. Hmm. We don't have any food on us, do we? Um, uh, right? if no, actually no, because you've been in, you've been in uh, the jail for the last th uh, three days. No, you have nothing on you. You basically just have regular clothes. So any all of your items gone, gone. Aren't you happy I didn't give you your loot drop yet, uh, Brooke? Yes. <laughs> so your dagger is not backbiter is not with you. Uh, well, it wasn't to begin with. So okay, that's a good. In fact, thing. all my stuff is in the same spot. It's been since pretty much day one. So. Smart move. Good move. <laughs> oh, yeah, Maybe I, I'll I, get back there someday. <laughs> Mr. Wallace says, why does it seem like Anwar? It's not Anwar. It's below, we're below the Soul St Arcane City. I, uh, I go to one of the kids. <laughs> okay. I say, what happens down here? How do, you, how do you live? What are you doing? Do you have food? No. We, we were prisoners, and they sent us down here. You can always throw yourself off. Some do. And if you don't? Then you work. You work. What do you do? He like looks back at his father and it kind of like runs off to his father. I follow him to his father. The father holds his son and looks at you. You are doomed like us. Doomed the faster to... you accept it, the better. Doomed to do what? This will be your life. This is it. What do you do down here? <sighs> During the day we mine. Night we sleep. Do they feed you? Barely. Enough to keep us alive. <sighs> Takes his son and walks away. Does everybody have collars on down here? Yes. Every single person has a collar. How far is the bridge? <laughs> um, probably about like a thousand feet away. I'll start walking over to the bridge. Okay. Uh, let's go around the room. Tom, are you still waiting to lift? Yeah. Okay. Kadek, what, what are you doing? Give me a, give me short short answers. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to approach one of the guys in the blue, the blue ropes. Wizards. Yeah, one of the wizards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay near the lift and just kind of look around. Relic? As will I. Name is. Okay, Same so you two well. are together. Um, Laura. I... Uh, she's going to stay near the left. Okay, and Tom's already staying with. Okay, so Kadok, let's go to you. You're on, you're on your way walking over to the bridge, and Kadok, you went over to one of the blue wizards. Excuse me, my lord. Question. I am no lord. Oh, forgive me. But we are... Uh, well, you are new here. <laughs> we are new here. Uh, the first thing you will learn is silence. Silence will allow you to live a long time. The second thing you will learn is to during a day, you will find a pickaxe. You will go into one of the areas, the sides, and you will do your best. You will do your best to serve your city. And three, if you ever approach me again without 
due process or need, I will just kill you. Okay. Can I ask you uh, another question, considering this is part of the first time I approached you still? I, <laughs> no, I, thank you. I walk away. Worth <laughs> <First> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, technically, this was already. the same time that you mentioned, so does that mean that it doesn't actually stir yet? Then I remembered the first rule, and I, 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 you know, yeah, I was still violating the first one, so. I'm, I'm, if I say something from here, it doesn't count right. the rules killing me, so. Okay, so you're walking across. You guys are hanging about the lift. Um, all of a sudden, you see the doors, and the lift begin to close. Actually, I want to step back on their lift then, if that's the case. If you think that's the best idea. Yeah. And they'll close in five, four, nah. I'll stay three. On. I'm on two. Two, one. Wait, are you lift. on? I'm on. on. I get off. I get off. Huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, so he shovels off. I will give you three seconds on. Raise your hand if you're on the lift. Three. I was only going on because Tom two, was on there. One. <laughs> I'm staying. No off. one's on the lift. Oh, I'm so disappointed in you guys. I thought Brooke went on. I stay on. Oh. You stayed on the lift? Mm-hmm. Oh, she didn't raise her hand. Okay. Okay, the lift goes <laughs> going back up. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to end great for your character. <laughs> the lift begins to go up. Because uh, the, the lift is 20 minutes. Right. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, Brooke. Uh, you, Dan, you walk across to the bridge. Um... You finally get there. You see there are there that the uh, the bridge goes across the other side. There's actually people hanging out there, and it almost looks clannish. It looks like these people almost like people don't like look at them, talk over there. It's kind of like a click, and they're all sitting there. And there's actually a pile of like skulls and garbage and things like that. And you see there's like two guys like sit, it's like sitting amongst it, and they're older. They're like they're like a they're, they're humans, and they're probably in their fifties or sixties. And it looks like they probably run everything. People around them are, are talking things like that. And they're just like talking like whatever. But that's all the way across. You start walking across the bridge. You go across the bridge. Yeah, so these clans are on the other side of the bridge. Just one clan. Or, yeah. On the near side of the bridge, anything happening? No, some people are hanging out by the edge. Some people are even sitting on the side. Some kids are throwing rocks o over. Uh, you, I'm sure you look down. You do, and you just see it's just like darkness at, at a point. Um, and that's it. The only thing I would tell you that you might notice. Well, perception check. 14. 14. So you notice that the the holes on the side looks like it's been scraped out, not by uh, a humanoid with a tool. Like something else has carved out this hole. Something large. Oh. Okay. okay. So you're walking your cross. Brooke, you're going up on, on the lift. Uh, everybody by the lift, you can role play. Which is Dash, Relic, and Robin. Oh, there she goes. Back up. <laughs> I'm sure yeah, she'll be I'm... back. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to figure out how to get out of this one. <laughs> uh, there's always death. Yeah. Uh, not my first choice. It's always death. Okay, so you guys are basically just, just hanging out. Um, right now, it actually seems to be midday, and you see these people are just kind of like looking for food. It looks like they're eating or something. Uh, but it's in a distance, some of them seem to be picking up uh, some, some tools and such and moving into a little tributary caves uh, from the main cave with their, with their tools. Uh, other than that, not much is happening. Uh, the necromancers that that I'll call them necromancers for now. You don't really know that. They just seem to be walking around and not. You can't tell if they're looking, observing what they're doing. They seem to be just walking around. What are you doing, Katic? I'll walk back to where I see the rest of them by the lift. Then. Okay, you walk to them. Uh, Dan, in this time, you've you've crossed uh, most of the bridge. You get near the other side, and you see uh, two of them come up to you. Hey, what do you want? I'm vigorous. Who cares? Mm, nobody, probably. 
Not probably. Okay. No one cares. So what happens on this side of the bridge? Nothing you need to know about. What if I can help you? What are you going to do? What do you need me to do? You're going to get us out of here? How about that? <laughs> no, I just got here. Well, then you're probably going to learn a bit. Like, one, you don't walk over here unless you got a reason. Is that how this works? Yeah. What's your name? Who cares what my name is? I do. You don't need to know my name. So you go back over there to that clan and start some, start some fighting over here because you talk to me. I don't got a name. I don't have any allegiance to any clans at all. Great. Awesome. How do I get into a clan? You got to earn yourself. How? Prove yourself worthy. Figure it out. So I got to show you what I can do, huh? You don't got to show me what you can do. You got to show them. Who are they? They're the leaders of our clan. How many clans are there? A three. Three clans. What's your clan called? Don't worry about it. I have to worry about these things. I give you enough information already. Why don't you turn back around? Go back over there. All right. I'll be seeing you. Hope not. Is there a clan on the side that I came from? You don't know. It's not, it's not like they have banners and meetings. <laughs> <laughs> like Everyone, sign. don't forget your three o'clock meeting for the clan is going to happen. Everybody be there. Every other Thursday. Every other Thursday. <laughs> oh, you're getting late. It's coming up. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 does anyone from any of the other clans come up to me or just that one guy? One guy comes up to you with another, well, another guy behind him, but they, were, they seem like they were just kind of stopping you because, like, why are you walking over here? Okay. I go back to the other side of the bridge, and I just find someone who looks like I can talk to. Okay. You, talk, you see uh, an older man. Hey. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. So listen. Don't you like the echo in this cave? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> um. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. How long have you been here? No echo on your voice. <laughs> you don't know how to do it. You have to throw your voice. Like, I have to project, you mean? Whatever. <laughs> Hello. Nope. <clears throat> I'm going to go. I'll go for my diaphragm. Hello. Is that better? I think I heard something. Okay. What is your name? My name is Julian. What is your name? Julian? Yes. Oh. My name is Vigorish. It's nice to meet you, Vigorish. Seem like you've been down here a while. I have been down here since I was a boy. How long ago was that? How old do I look? 52. <laughs> Much longer. Seventy-two. <laughs> That's pretty close. I am seventy-six years old. You've survived down here for that long? Yes. How? I was much strong. Now everyone looks after me a bit. Are you a part of a clan? I do not get bothered with the clans. They are temporary. So who, who looks after you? Who takes care of you? A uh, few do. I share my rations when I can. And sometimes others share them with me. Why are you here? Long story. I have all the time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. It all started with you a tell frying them. pan. You tell them. <laughs> 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 you tell them. I do, t I do tell him, though. Wow. So he was sleeping with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that that's really doesn't have much to do with why I'm, I'm here. You, I don't... <laughs> it's not really something you should be focusing on here. It's not the... Part of your story is the most interesting part. <laughs> you were the one who included it in the story. Right, right. You said you told him everything. I mean, come on. <laughs> 
I know, I I, I, the, key, I only, the key takeaway should not. <laughs> I was only kind of telling you that part of the story just to like, you know, kind of <laughs> vent about it. I would have punched him in the face if he said that about my mother. <laughs> okay. Um, <but> <laughs> anyway, that's, that's, that's my story. Um, so it seems like you guys on the side of the bridge kind of help each other out, huh? Yes. Well, everywhere. Everyone helps everyone. For the most part. There's nothing to steal. Perhaps that is why. Okay. I, 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 I guess you did a lot of work in your younger days down here? Yes, I was here. Um, during the days of the Celestial War. Actually, uh, I was here when the dragon was, was here, actually. Very different time. Dragon? Oh, yes. Do you not know the history of souls? I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, the only dragon I ever heard about was Ember, but he wasn't here. Ember was in the Silken City. Yeah. There was a dragon here also. The dragon, its, it's human name was Leonis, but its dragon name was Rage. Rage? The dragon helped power the vice you see in the center there is similar to the contraption the gnomes devised in the sunken city, except this one was created by the king of Rhaegar. Oh, Bellamon. Yes, I believe that's his name. The dragon uh, used to try to find crystals and burn the power from the crystals and they they were planning to use that to do all sorts of things. But then one day, uh, they killed many of us. They thought we stole the crystals, but in fact, the crystalline powder ran out. It was simply depleted. Who killed you? The dragon? No, the, the dragon was a prisoner itself. What happened to him? My, the story goes on. The dragon, the dragon was under the control of uh, mind benders, and they took the dragon far below. And many say that they made their, their way far down to the dwarven city of Ironstone. And there, they had the dragon burrow further for more crystal. The dragon eventually was killed, but that was about much after that. The dragon never returned here. But I heard all sorts of stories, even one saying that the necromancers, who of course now rule the city, um, found the, the dragon, slayed it, and then brought it back to life as a skeleton dragon. Where is he? I do not know. Onifa, you're right. That's correct. Hmm. Oni says, oh my god! It's the dragon that fought, they fought in the Ironstone. Yes. Mm. That's from Celestial War, for those who have not watched Celestial War, season two. Episode, no, oh no, season one. It's like episode. I'm six, the worst with that, don't even six, look at me. Six, six, around 16, <laughs> 17. Something like that. Well, if you... So. Oh, you have more questions for me. I just want to try to get an idea of how things work down here. You mine, child. Simply mine. Or they will, they will kill you. They will use your life force for the necromancers. You've been down here most of your life, right? Since I was 11. About 60 years. Listen, in all of that time, somebody had to have gotten out of here. There is a way out. If you jump into the, into the pit, I imagine they all died. But maybe they didn't. So in all that time, you've never seen anyone leave here outside of diving down? Where would you go? Like, no one was ever led back onto the lift by some city officials? 
No one's ever found some kind of the secret secret exit out of here. The necromancers and the, the wizards wear blue. They travel on the lift sometimes. But if you go back on the lift, go up to the top, they'll just kill you. No one was ever escorted out of here by them for any reason whatsoever? Not that I have seen. It is not often that many new newcomers arrive. In fact, before you arrive, two others arrive. Half a and a human. <laughs> Where are they? They actually walked over the bridge. They are on the other side of the bridge? Yes. Well, why? That's where the clans are. I believe one of the clans are there. I just went over there just to kind of see what's going on, and they were, you know, not not too receptive of newcomers. I don't know why Arlock and Burr would be accepted into a clan if they just got down here right before us. The clan formed for the last few months only. It is, it is, I'm sure, brief in run its course. But it's run by two humans who arrived in only weeks before that. So they don't really have any clout. They push their way around somehow in the respect of others. And uh, next week there'll be a new one there? Perhaps. <sighs> we gotta figure out a way to get out of here, Julian. I am not going anywhere. Where would I go? Back up to the surface. And do what? I have not seen light since I was a child. Not even if my eyes could take it. No. Go. You must work. They don't punish you. They just kill you. Okay. Oh. <sighs> who's someone who could kind of... Who's someone you trust around here? Okay, we're gonna head over to you guys. Uh, you guys are uh, hanging out by the, um, the the lift. You're seeing him talking to um, an old timer. And uh, what are you guys doing? This is uh, the, <clears throat> the four of you minus Brooke. <clears throat> Just kind of hanging out. Well, I spoke to one of the wizards. Just to see exactly what it was like down here. Apparently, does authorities take no part in the governance of this this mining colony? It's apparently every man for himself, as long as we. Mine in the day and produce their precious gems and crystals, eh? Well, that's it. Other than that, it's up to us to survive. I would not approach them, though. I was lucky. They gave me a warning. <clears throat> well, we can't just stand here. You'd think that they would tell us what to do. I mean... Grab a pickaxe. Find a place. That's what they said? It's really the only rule of then don't talk to the wizards. Hmm. But as far as our lodgings, I guess we we'll just find a place. Just great. I begin to like look around to see like if there's any um if there's like uh, I I guess like groups of people like working together or um, yeah, you, you see some people working in a group. Yep. And there's, like, tools laying around, or is it, like... Are there any, like, you said the pickaxes and stuff? Or? Yes. Of all different states. It looks like every once in a while they throw new ones in, but you see ones that have probably been down there for years. And what, what's it look like they're mining? They're just mining rock? You have no idea, because you haven't gone into those areas. Okay. I, uh, there. That looks like a good enough spot as any. And I point towards, like, the group of people. <laughs> okay, so you walk into one of the small tributaries, and you, you as you walk inside, you see that the it's kind of like a, uh, 
probably like a 50 foot high uh, corridor that's running. It's all jagged and such. And you see veins for coal in there. Uh, you see some people pulling out like bits of coal. They f it seems like if they find something, they just bring it right out. Um, you see some people almost, try, almost looking through it for something and you, as you're passing. You're not sure what are looking for. Then you see in their hand is like a couple of specks of like the uh, the amber crystal. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so, um, Rook, you go up to the top. 25 minutes pass, and you come back up to the top, and you hear Arknum and uh, Eldrin talking. Arknum and who? I'm sorry. Arknum and Eldrin. Eldrin, okay. This is before the lift gets to the top. Do you say anything now? Before the, I'm sorry. The lift, you cut is, out. the lift is almost arriving at the top. You hear Arknum and Eldrin talking at the top. Do you say anything? Do they see me? The lift is coming up, but it hasn't reached the top yet. So you don't see oh. them, and they don't see you. But you, you can hear them. No, I don't say anything. I'm very worried this plan is not, isn't going to work. My own son is involved now. Well, there's nothing we can do. It, it, it's the way it worked out. It's, it is... It is, it is Findelar's plan. Burr knows his part. And that is all we can do. I brought him here for this purpose, but I did not feel that he would go so far without my help. Also, the lift comes up. And he look, he look over at you. I need, I need to be with Arthur. You see, you see, Lord Eldrin um, looks over at the seekers outside, and then looks at you, and he says. If you do not go back down downstairs, they're going to kill you right here. I need to be with Arthur, please. He walks over. He walks over to the lift. He looks in your eyes. He goes, "Arthur is down there." Then send me down. Good luck with your plan. Oh man! Uh, oh, oh man! <laughs> I think she's on a suicide quest this 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 time around. He opens the door, takes his sword out, uh, and stabs you and, and runs uh, it right through you. You just died. Ah. Uh, <sighs> he's sending the body down. Yes. <laughs> what? That's Eldrin. Yeah. Wow. And if you can't understand that and you don't see what's going on, that sucks, Brooke. I just don't know why you <laughs> do that. Oh, God. I... Charles Morris is screaming, no. <laughs> Seriously. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I oh, like this character a lot. I really, really like your new character. She was so gutsy. I know. She had so much I even, guts. I even spent like 10 minutes today making up all, this, all her skills. Oh, oh. I wish Caddick could have seen that. That would have been something. She's very, she's that. very confused and angry. And What's great is that you, you just learned some information that will die with you. Right. Unfortunately. Right. That was None crazy. Of us know that. <laughs> lift, lift. Well, can, I, can I say what her secret was? Oh, um, I'm wondering if you shouldn't. Is there any reason you shouldn't? Um, I just feel like it explains why well, she's maybe, like. Why don't you post show? Post yeah, show? save it. Save, save it for the po save for the for post show. Save, yeah. it for, save it for our uh, dungeon talk, guys. We do an after show dungeon talk right after okay. this at around eleven o'clock, eleven o five. So, um, you find out the secret of Brooke's character. Yeah, Brooke, uh, Brooke's character has a secret. That's awesome. I'm so upset because you oh, had a motive. Man. You had it. It's, it's just what it is. I'm glad I know. I know. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, also, that also means that you're off the show until the next season. No, well, just well, she, you could play NPCs. No, you could play NPCs. You, you could be on the show. Be on and But play. not as a, as, a, as a. You're main not going to have a main character for yeah. the next four episodes. Oh, now that's going to make me cry. <laughs> Oh. Don't, you know, think don't about worry, this, Brooke, the way things are going, you, you might not be able to. In, in, 
Next so time, don't tell the bad guys that you just heard overheard <laughs> yeah. their secret plan. <laughs> like. I know, but there's and by like. The way, I heard everything. She's you said. angry. <laughs> she's <laughs> angry. About yeah, we get she's angry. She's been so angry this whole but time. Is she, is she angry or <laughs> suicidal? <laughs> yeah, it sounds just... more suicidal than angry. So basically, her her uh, uh, alignment, and I'm assuming, is chaotic, 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 <laughs> chaotic, crazy, chaotic, angry. This, at this point in time, yep. Super Richard Wilde is asking if you can have a chance. Uh, no, what would be the chance? Uh, Zero level character revealing that she knows it, obviously there's a very important plan that they're all carefully if intricate and move forward and she just and she already heard it, went back down and says, Good luck. I with didn't you. hear the whole <laughs> plan. Right. I heard your plan. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said good luck, okay? I I should, shouldn't have said good luck. Probably shouldn't have said anything. You, you at really all. like you really like put salt on the wound yeah, right there. You really oh, did. Man. Yeah, that was I don't, like, came, I don't understand. It was so gutsy. And then like you then you gave but them crap. It was like Yeah, yeah, you were like <laughs> right. uh, Yeah, oh, man. Anyway, yep. more on the X Then's show. Anyway. No, save, we'll no saving throw later. In, no saving throw in combat, Todd. There's no, nothing to save versus. <laughs> it's just combat. <laughs> Like, I was in a box, yeah. he's, and he's stuck he's like me a, while in the box. He's like a 17th level paladin. <laughs> yeah, he ain't missing. She's not, yeah. he, he had a, she had a magic collar of uh, restraintment on right, and all exactly. this stuff, and yeah. you're in prison. They just executed you. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then she has to bleed for 25 minutes. Right. Like oh. it, yeah. Okay, so um, that list that's Man. going down, that's going to be interesting in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so... Um, you're going. You went to work, right? You starting to work. I look. I look for a tool. <laughs> it's like I work. I go. I go right to work. <laughs> I go, whatever I gotta do. I'm looking for uh, Braylon. Okay, so you start asking for Braylon as you're, as you're working, or no? Yeah, I'm. I want to find him to start working. Okay. Like I want to work along with him and start talking. Okay. You start. Uh, you start meeting a guy named Braylon. And you start talking to him and start a conversation with him. And um, uh, yes, I'm. I'm Braylon. <laughs> Well, I just uh, just made my way down here. My name is Vigorish. Hello, Vigorish. Let's go over here in this part of the cave. Uh, <laughs> I, can hear my, I can hear my own voice. <laughs> I have a nice echo, too. Hmm. I don't really hear it. <laughs> you, you're not listening. <clears throat> you're, uh, not, you're not listening. Oh, okay. A very manly voice. What did, what did you want? You, <laughs> oh, um, no, I, I just um, spent some time uh, talking to Julian, and he told me that you guys kind of you know, look after each other, take care of each other down here. Uh, yes, yes, Julian is a, good, is a good man. He's been down here since he was a boy. He told me many yes. times. And I'm not, not just me. Everyone pitches in if they can give him some food or... You know, he has trouble getting around. They don't really make him work anymore. They, he just sits around. So what's the... You just, what, wake up, work, eat, sleep? That's it? That is all we can do. We hope... The biggest hope that goes around is that maybe someone will... Something will change above, and one day... Maybe we're one day away from getting out. That's all we have. How long have you been here? Well, my family is here with me. I've been down here for almost 20 years. They've been down here for about nine. You, what, you came down here first and then they were sent after you? Yes. <sighs> but for all the time that you've been here and all the time that Julian's been here, no one has ever escaped? No one ever was led out of here by anybody? Um... Not that I know of. You should really start swinging. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, what are we? What are we mining for anyway? I think we can find any values. We're looking for coal, gold. Uh, if you find crystalline dust, all that's good. Um, it's just good that you find something for us for a while. Otherwise, I think you do nothing. And when they do the purge, which usually happens uh, almost weekly now, I don't know why it's been more. They will just. Kill whoever they think is useless. Purge. Yeah. So I'm I'm useless if I don't find anything. Exactly. Ay ay ay. All right. I tell you, the necromancers only one is blood. Your heart. 
your soul. They send the soul through, through the device in the center, and it grows the power of the shield. They take your heart and empty their, their heart, and so they can live longer. So you're either working for them, or you're supplying them in life, or you're, you're supplying the shield with power. They can use you three different ways. I prefer this way. Okay. Okay, so you end up working with him the uh, rest of the day. You get to know him a little bit, and that's pretty much it. You guys all work. You finish your shifts. You basically just learn the same thing that he just he just, just found out, that there's value to things. Uh, you guys come off your shift, and you see the lift is down, the door is open, and you see Alora, who's on the floor, apparently been dragged out. You see a, sh a streak of blood, and she's just there on the floor. Role play. <sighs> Can't say I'm surprised. Uh, what madness drove her to go back up? Madness that made her tag along after us. I mean, look, I, I didn't want the woman to die, but and we told her. We told her to stop. I told her to stay where she was. You did try. You did. That's the death over the grief grief over the death of her friend let her do that but she knew he was alive I don't know maybe you never know what you're seeing I mean I saw him but was it really him it's hard to say I mean, so much magic and illusions yeah you know it is who a possibility knows? who knows what's real at this point you see a, a, one of the uh, necromancers walk over to her, and they kind of like uh, just move like the like their shirt aside. And you see him go and like plunge his hand like Kalima in, into uh, <laughs> into uh, her heart, her chest, and it pulls out the heart and just starts eating it. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Cut the brook right now. Well then. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty then. No one can say this one didn't have heart. Oh. <laughs> I was funny before. But I'm still <laughs> funny now. <laughs> That's not funny. I used to be a comedian. <laughs> now I just talk to myself. <laughs> Oh, this one, geez. this one is chewy. <laughs> well, it's raw. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. <sighs> I used to knock him dead at the comedy club. Buzzing. I got um, a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, he, um, he's he's starting to Tone, eat. I, I just, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I I lean over to Caddick. Caddick, um, she didn't look like she was killed by a wizard. That was a stab wound, right? You're a fighty it, guy. It, it, well, that wasn't like wizards cast spells. It's usually just burn damage or, or you know something like that. She well, went bleeding all over the place. That is. That is true that you mention it. I mean, there are swords in the city. Some of the, some of no, the gods aren't. bear them, I believe. Perhaps. There aren't swords in the city. Tom's digging that sword into you right now. Oh. He's right, though. You know there are no swords in the city. Like that, You're allowed to have a dagger. That's it. And if anyone owns a sword, you're not allowed to walk with it unless... You are somebody of renown, importance, or security, or anything like that. Who is allowed to carry a type of sword that would create such a wound? <laughs> <laughs> if only we could solve the mystery. Right now, it's like it's like always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Pepe Sylvia? <laughs> Oh, uh, Richard Roth goes, okay, she now is totally dead. <laughs> <laughs> she's, 
Yeah. Richard. Wait, is there a save? <laughs> is, is there a save yeah. versus eat heart? heart. Is that people like, can you roll Chomp a save? Heart. Can you roll yeah. a save? <laughs> no. No. Aww. There's no save versus save. I know your plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Um, it's okay. We make mistakes. We learn. We live and learn. We learn. We live. We get our hearts eaten up. <laughs> Eat your heart out, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so be here all night. <laughs> Eat your heart out. <sighs> I'm so Yum. Steve <laughs> so at, this, at this point, he at takes this... he takes it by by the the arm and just like drags her away. At this point in the day, like, are we Brutal. done working for the day? Or... Yes. Okay. Nick Lurkins, for Relic, I dig the Sunny reference. 500 <laughs> yeah. stars. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Brian Mahale does Monty Python. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I'll be better in the morning. <laughs> I feel happy. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. You will be soon. You'll be stone dead <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. Anyway. All right. So <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting to the point where we need to rest at this point of the day, right? Yes. So you guys, uh, yeah. we're not going to play that out because that's boring. So you guys uh, go over to the sides. You find somewhere to stay. And you do find an actually uh, mining, like, little shack. They built, like, these little, little like, uh, just places to survive. There's a, there's a place inside like, where you could light a fire if you had the way to do so. Uh, and you guys uh, find room in there. And you probably could fit about eight people squashed in here. So you do find one that's if, open. If we're free and it's just us. It is I, just you. Okay. I want to try and... Um, experiment with magic and see if it's something that can be done. Okay, you experiment with magic. Pick a spell. Um, I will... <sighs> Don't want to do any of those because those are very obvious. You know what? I'll do the uh, the thing where like I can come out of my body. Okay. So you... All of a sudden you see the thing go... Nothing happens. Okay. Richard Wallace says, does anyone have detect magic? Uh, yes. Vinny has detect magic, and I think Tom might have detect magic as well. I, well, it's more Ooh. of like a, an ability for me. It's not, it's not a spell. It is an ability for you. I'll try it. Richard, See if that Richard, works. I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think the colors are magical. <sighs> you cast the magic, it does get through, and you see the collars light up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The rest of you are all kind of making your little beds in, in this in this weird shack, and the shack does. It's just like they put a roof on everything else. You, you you imagine from falling rocks and such, but there are some spots where rocks have fallen fallen through. You can see right out. You can even see some out into the the wall a little bit. It's not very very stable. Things like that. How how do the collars look like they're put on? Like, are they locked on? Like, I mean, well, obviously they're locked on, uh, but does it look like one piece? Does it look like there's a lock on it? You investigate s someone else's, and you think that, well, you know, not you think. You see that in the back, it kind of meets, and there's like a, a piece that goes in. Like a pin? Yeah. Gerald's right, right there with you. He says, could someone please look at the collars? Okay, so you guys uh, eventually, uh, you try your magic spell. It doesn't work. I imagine you guys go to sleep. Unless there's anything else that you want to do of importance, otherwise we'll go to the next day. I think, nope. that's, I think that's it. Did we, we get anything? Did we bind anything successfully? Find anything? Day one? Yeah, like digging. Yeah. Like when we uh, the digging. You yeah. did find scraps and stuff. Um, you found, if, we could do it if you care. You find coal. You find... No, I just, I'd more care that if, if I didn't find anything, I'm we already buying the 86. I still want to get more. 1d6, you said? Five. Okay, uh, you find some coal. Okay. Okay, one d six. One. You find nothing. Great. Mm. <laughs> <Perch>. <laughs> I'll take you first. Two. Two walls. Two. You also find nothing. You also find nothing. Oh. Four. Four. You find some coal also. Hey. Okay. Okay. Um. You guys go to sleep. You wake up. And you start to, like, get up. You see people are, are getting up in the morning. 
and you see that the uh, the wizards are like using telekinesis, like a kind of I won't say mage hand, but like some kind of telekinesis power, and they're moving a coal onto this uh, into the uh, furnace. Uh, you see you see them taking uh, like from a powder from like a bag and sprinkling it in there, and it glimmers the same color as amber. <sighs> like, <sighs> and you see it eventually it lights up, and you see, and you see almost like uh, it kind of glows a machine. And the rod above starts to glow as well, and it goes and like flies up like like a blue light surges up. Well, uh, <laughs> can I ask you an out of game question? Yeah, is it the rod? No, the crystal uh, rod. Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's. I'm saying rod. It's but like it's, a pipe, right? It, yeah. Imagine oh, yeah. a pylon being like upside down, where it comes into like a tower, like the tower around Mumra's lair. Okay, that helps, right? So, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> What's a mumra? <laughs> uh, so the tower, it's like uh, it's like upside down. Imagine a rectangle, long rectangle piece, and it comes to a pyramid shape on the top of it. But except that it's flipped upside down, that pyramid's on the bottom, and that's right meeting another like pyramid piece. It's almost like this furnace is going to give energy to that in some way. Okay. How big is it? Huge. Probably like uh, 25, 30 feet. Okay. But is there like a like a pipe going up though, or something like you said? What um, do we see going up? Is it just light? Or? It's it's almost it, there's a when he throws the powder on the crystalline um, powder the uh, the amber that seems to kind of like somehow trigger above. Huh. How much how much of the amber did he like throw on? Was it like a handful? Was it like a pinch? Like no, it's like huge amount, like like full hands of sand. Like that would be that. He throws like three or four of those. Okay, up. so it was like decent amounts. <laughs> right. Hmm. Right. Um. <clears throat> so when we wake up, we go to start digging with our pickaxes again. Wait, they're not making us work like eight hours a day or anything like that, are yeah. they? <laughs> no. Oh, this is that <laughs> grueling. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. So listen. What? So it's grueling. It's like terrible, the worst that you've ever seen. It's nine, eight, like nine to five. It's, and nine, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's eight hours a day, only one lunch break, and four break, fifteen minute breaks. Oh Why my are we god! Doing this again? <laughs> oh. I think it's the most terrible thing ever. Oh my God. And I don't know why anybody would not just throw oh themselves man. into the they pit. They have to start at like 9 a.m. too. Not, yeah. Not like 12. It's not even 9 a.m., it's 8 a.m. Oh, oh my gosh. My day was half over at 8 a.m. <laughs> the necromancer comes on. And in the Excel spreadsheets by four. <laughs> no! I'm going to need you to do more labor on Saturday. Oh, you know what? Why don't you come in on Sunday, too? (laughs) No! (laughs) No, 925! I actually, um, I want to kind of get like a lay of the land today a little bit. I want to like search different areas of the the cavern. Okay, you walk around, you find different tributary uh, things where people have mined. Some of them run into a dead end. Some go pretty far, maybe like a, t- like a two, three minute walk, but they all end in like this dead end. You don't see any other ways out. Okay. Um, does that bring me over the bridge as well, or no? No. You're very, un- you're very unsure what that whole bridge is, unless you guys have figured it out, but you're very unsure what what is the reason of all that? What's going on over there? You have no idea. Just odd. What's under the bridge? Um, going down, it just goes into darkness. And from like looking at it and what you hear and what you can see a little bit, it just looks like it's like a carved out cavern. So it goes over like empty space. It's not like the bridge. Empty yeah. space, yeah. Um, is there any way, is there any other way to that area besides the bridge? Or is that clearly no. like the only way? Yeah. To get over there. Okay. When you and to... is it what, what's the material of the bridge? Stone. Stone. And it, it actually looks like it's somehow manly uh manly made. <laughs> I uh, made uh, the uh, bridge. Uh, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> man-made um, bridge. Man-made. Uh, it doesn't does not look or, man-made. It looks like that it, it is Oh, like a natural bridge. Like it's somehow natural, but you don't understand cuz it looks like it's it's man-made, but when you look at it, it looks like the rock just came out and peered out and the only thing you could think of is made by magic, perhaps. Right, right. When you okay. get, what happens when you go up over that bridge and you like look up? Is there anything above it? It's uh, stalactites. 
So it's, yeah. it's still it's still cavern. Is that, that the right one? one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I think the tights are on the top. Yeah, the lactites. The tights. Yeah. Right. With a C, though, not a G. Stalactites. Stalactites. And yeah. stalagmites. Oh, wow. Stalagmites. Yeah. C for ceiling, G for ground. Oh, my God. T for top. T for top. Stalactites. Stalactites. No, stalagmites. Stalactites. <laughs> <laughs> Let's really move on. So you say, like I, Let's move on. I was saying stalagmites and stalactites because I didn't know. I love you, Rob. Is there anything? Thank you. <laughs> You're so, dead. So it's just a cavern above us there? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it's just a cavern above it's, us? Like there's no open space that like, no. you can't see up? Okay, nope, no way out. Just this ceiling. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I continue over the bridge. I want to see what's on the other side as well. Richard Wilde asks, is everyone has collars, right? <laughs> yes, that is true. Everyone has collars. If yes, can I suggest that Relic tries to remove the pin from some random person or if they can get access to a body? <laughs> hmm. See, Derek Lesson wrote something here. Brooke pushes challenges which normally have proven epic, but this season seems to be play more cautious players. Brooke has the epic bombast uh, moments, though, that others don't. Absolutely. She pulls the pin on the grenade while everyone else debates what kind of uh, flag to wave. <laughs> uh, well Kyle Wright says tights. Hold tight to the ceiling. Huh? That's not a good one. That's good. So, I'm, all right. I want to explore the other side of the... Uh, the the, the bridge. I want to see what's on that side as well. Okay, you walk across the bridge uh, during the work uh, time. That's what you do. Uh, are you working? Yeah, I'm focusing on working very hard. Are you working? Yeah, but not that hard. Oh, <laughs> Not as hard as it. Are yeah. you working? <laughs> I'm working with a Braylon again. Okay. And I warned Vigorish <laughs> before we leave for the morning that he better mine better today. We'll, <laughs> we'll both get purged. Okay, so you need to roll a d20 for me. If you roll a 1... You can imagine. Oh. An 11. Go ahead, make the joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say I it! I was going to, but I Go stopped ahead. myself. No, nope, we're not good. Say anymore. it! We're good. 11? 11, that's like... <laughs> yes, 11 is like two ones. We're going ooh, nowhere today. Ooh, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, so you, make it, you, you walk across. No one sees you or cares, you, you suppose. <laughs> Lauren Hicks goes, hold! <laughs> um, yes. You walk across, and um, you see a couple of guys come up to you. Hey, you lost. No. What are you, some sort of... Gollum? I am... Relic. Relic. He looks back, like shocked at you, and like looks back, and you see um, Master Thief Burr is there. And he goes. And he goes, okay. Mm. Go ahead. I continue on. <laughs> you walk to the back. You're talking to Braylon. How was your first night? Let's walk over here. Not too bad. Check, 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 check. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> check. Check, check. <laughs> I, hear, I hear it. When you, when you hit the <laughs> hear it, that's when you're going to find something. <laughs> uh, if you, he's right. <laughs> Whoever that guy is. If you just mind where the echo is, that's how you find the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, uh, uh, sharing a space with my uh, associates, I guess you could call them. I have to say, you seem to be handling things very well. Usually... When anyone comes down here and realizes this is going to be the rest of their life, they usually scream and sometimes throw themselves over the cliff. Yeah. I am, I am thinking that you're still in some sort of denial. I was there at the beginning as well. You're thinking that this isn't going to be your life and that you're going to escape it. There has to be some kind of way out of here. I'm pretty sure there's no way out. Or some kind of way to, I don't know, work with them. Work with who? They don't want you. What, what worth do you think that we have? I don't know. Mining what we can mine? Get some coal? That's it. That is the worth. That's... I, I don't know. Just... I'll... You're a boy. I know some... uh, yeah, I, I know I'm a boy, but I've done things, okay? I've worked with people 
who no one else ever wanted to work with, and I was successful. I did well. I was able to survive under terms that other people weren't. Okay? I'm gonna go by over here. Uh, Braylon, I'm sorry. I don't need to snap at you. I just had a rough... He walks away. Few d- Braylon? <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, do I find anything? Uh, we'll roll later. We'll roll later. Um, so you go over and talk. You see uh, Master Thief Burr is there. And he gets up and walks over. So, uh, looks like you guys are down here too, huh? Yes. Why are you here? I'm not sure. But what do you... You came to talk to me. What do you want to say? I came to explore the area. Oh. Well, uh, this is my first time down here too. I'm just looking at it and, uh, um, doesn't look like much. Are we to just mine until our time is over? What do you prefer? I prefer not to be here. So if there's a way out, would you want to do it? Even if it was risky? Since I don't believe I can be destroyed in the natural sense. I believe I would be here much longer than even the people that have been here the longest. What do you remember? You, what, do you remember who you were? Anything at all? I remember light screaming and being in the chamber. Okay, um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it, it could work, eh, you know? This, this, could, this could be good. He seems kind of a, like a little bit emotional for a second, then he's fine. This could work. Um, Listen, we're not working for the Iron Circle anymore. You know that, right? Aren't we still working for the Iron Circle? I suppose so. But we're not working for the Iron Circle. <laughs> like, I'm not on their side anymore. I was never on their side. I work for them because I had to. We're still working for them because we have to. But I'm down here because I don't want to work with them anymore. If you want to be a part of that, if whatever is in, in there wants to be a part of that, then you, you can. I only worked for them because Bellamon told me I had to. I'm sure Bellman would be happy to know that you were now working against them. At least from what I would gather. And how am I working against him? I'm not going to tell you anymore. Why don't you talk to your friends and you tell me what side of, of, of the fence you want to be on. If it gets me out of here, I will work with you. Okay, not really the answer I was looking for. Why don't you go talk to them and then we'll take from there. Okay, do so you leave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I continue back to the side. You continue back on. Uh, you guys are just working for the day. You're just working, right? Okay, because you worked hard, I'm gonna give you two rolls. Roll for the, roll for the advantage. Ooh, yes. You didn't work that hard. 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> you specifically said you didn't. That's right. That's <laughs> totally right. You're right. When You're I get right. back to the other side, I want to see if I can actually find Robin. Okay. Five. Five. You find some crystalline dust. Oh. oh, one. One. You find nothing. The purge is coming for you, my friend. Yeah, bring it on. You roll. I rolled. I, I worked Tom, the Tom, hardest. You, you find gold. <laughs> ever worked. Ice. Very you, hard. You did a lot of talking. <clears throat> Yeah, he was just yeah. picking. With, you, he was picking you? with one hand like this, if you notice, very yeah. casually, yeah. like, like yeah. there's no, there no, there no echo. There was no echo. Come on, you're, you're, come on. You're what are you really doing over there? I too mean, much <laughs> lippy. Not enough. To, not enough worky. <laughs> oh, because multitasking, talking, and using a pickaxe, very difficult. <laughs> not just talking. You, <laughs> right. were, you were like screaming at Braylon too. So. Yeah, you had a you know, breakdown. Six. <laughs> oh, I just got lucky. <laughs> you, find, <laughs> you find gold. Find gold? You find some gold. Um, I, I want to take half the gold. It's only flakes of gold. All right. I want to take a few flakes of gold. Okay. <laughs> I, eat <it>. no. <laughs> I give them to Braylon. I say, Braylon, I'm sorry I yelled at you before. Here, take some of these to give to the necromancer. Oh, thank you. I... I appreciate that. I give it to my daughter. It'll, it'll help her. I mean to yell at you. It's all right. I know that you're you're angry, and you have a right to be. <sighs> all right. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Uh, Necromancer! Necromancer! Look! <laughs> you walk up to him? No. <laughs> I think I could deduce by now that's not the relationship thing. <laughs> <laughs> well done, boy. You're so smart. He tussles my head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Eat you later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't screw up tomorrow. Otherwise, yeah, what, you might snack. <laughs> but, uh, what, what do we do with it? You bring it in, into like an area uh, somewhere like near the whole cavern, and they have like just like tables out and things like that. You put them into pans and put stuff there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Richard Wall says, rule one. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happens to Brooke's magical item? <laughs> I will give it to her next character. <laughs> next season. Next season, yeah. Oi. Just twist the knife. Twist the knife, Rob. Sorry. Mm. What about our uh, manifestations? <laughs> um, next season. <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I did that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Next season. Cadix doing great. <laughs> next se- you you were talking when you were using your pickaxe. <laughs> DM. DM, he was talking. Next <laughs> season <laughs> for, for Brooke. Next season, DM. <laughs> oh, my God. What has happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> it re- that really is who, who you are right now. <laughs> You like I, <laughs> <laughs> my daddy's gonna get me out of here. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys meet back up. Uh, Robin, you work. You roll. I gave you your stuff. You guys meet back up mm-hmm. in, into the the house where you're you're staying in. You can role play. Let's make this a short one. Do I, do I find him before everybody like gets back together? Robin? Yeah. If you want to, yes. Yeah, I, I want to. Okay. <laughs> Guys, right now, I'm going to do, do you a favor. We're going to do something we do on Mondays right now. Everybody everybody, start rolling. You roll 1d20. Whoever rolls 2d20s, who rolled two natural 20s on d20s first, I will allow you to give a free reroll to whoever you like. Wow. You, can, you may begin now. And Todd, if you can help out and see who rolls it, that would be great. Brooke, you can roll also in there as well. She already did. <laughs> She's going to give them against Rob. No. <laughs> can I give it to anti-Rob? Not Rob? Um, okay, so you had your talking to Robin. Right. Robin. I, yeah. I found, found Master Burr. You found Master Burr here? Yes. I, I look around real fast to see if anybody else are around us. Is there anybody like near us? No. Nobody? Okay. Where? He's, He's on, on the, the other, other side of the bridge. He says he's no longer working for the Iron Circle. And never has. Uh huh. It, it appears. Tells. It appears he's. Looking for a way out 
of here. Yeah. Hmm. Eh. All right. He told you that? Yes, yes he, he has. has. What else did he tell you? Anything? That other than never working for the Iron Circle. And looking for a way out that he is now actively working against the Iron Circle. All right. And if we wish to join him, we could. All right. Did you see anyone else with him? The archer or... Um... Was the, ar was the archer over there? Did I see him? Did I see Arlock? Uh, you didn't look for Arlock. So I, I know. know. I'm just I'm just wondering if I saw him off, offhand. No? No. What about the um, the actor? The actor? The one yeah. that oh. You know what? I wouldn't even know what he looks like, so... Yeah, you're not, you're not sure. I did not see either. Okay. So this move is long. He quickly, wants... I feel like we already know his information. So you guys take it back to the, the house and everybody comes in. Well, that's why I'm going to him for first. Okay, good. Sorry. All right. Um, no. <laughs> Something is going on. Something is going on. I don't... I'm trying to figure it out. Some... some... All right. I'm going to see him tomorrow. I'm going to go see him tomorrow. I trust you with this. I leave it to you if you want to add the rest of them in. Thank you, Relic. Uh, all right. Okay. You guys head back to the um, your shack or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the love <Mining> shack. Hut. <laughs> Tin roof. Rusted. <laughs> um, you guys go back to the shack, and I imagine you do not share that with them, right? I do not. Okay. So you guys just rest. You guys know, you know, nothing really to talk about here. Another day. Uh, you guys go to sleep. You wake up. Who goes to work? Raise your hand. Work. 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 Half work? You're doing a lot of work today? I haven't found anything, so I'm going to try a little harder oh, today. A little harder? I'm going to try much harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I haven't found anything yet, so I'm going to try. I like, I like a good worker, Scrow. I'm going to try hard today. <laughs> okay, so you're both working. Uh, <clears throat> working? She raise your hand? Okay. And who just says to say something to me? I think Brooke, Brooke? said something. No, no. maybe oh. not. Uh, what was that? What? what? Somebody talking? I don't know. Somebody so, I got I got the two natural 20s, and I give it to Relic. Thank you. Oh, you got it. Oh, wow. Oh. Thank you, thank so you. So Brooke, Brooke actually rolled, and she got the two natural 20s, and she's giving the re-roll to Relic. Congratulations. Um, okay, so you guys wake up. You guys starting to work, and who else? Who, who does something else? I'm if, going to go see Burr. Okay, so you walk. I go with him. Okay, so the two of you walk, walk down, and uh, as you're walking today, you see that they're not really guarding any in, in that walkway anymore. You see the people over there, and they all start working in that area. On the other side, they're all just chiseling away. If there's people working on the other side when he goes to see him, I will go work with them. Okay. Okay, so you guys walk over there. You see Burr, and uh, he walks over and he goes, Hello, Robin. Hello, Master Thief. Um, I imagine he told you. What are you thinking? He did. I think... Um, I can't speak for everyone, and we haven't told anyone else yet because I want to talk to you first. But I'm in, and I am 100%. I'm 100% against who put me here, who gave me this. If you're on that side, then we're on the same side. All right? Okay, listen. What I'm about to do very soon is going to be very, very difficult. So I've seen you guys work. You guys took took that took out a, a very powerful thief, the leprechaun. And you guys did pretty well when you were there too. You had yourself trying to escape Arlock. My words: one, Arlock's in here. Arlock's gonna try to kill me. 
I'm pretty sure that's going to happen very soon. But also, if you want to talk to everyone else and see if they want to get involved. I will. But I, if you I need do, to talk to you. If I you need... do that, I can, tell, I can tell you what's going on a little bit more. But I, I, I can't share anything with you unless I know where everybody stands. All right. All right. Oh, see, Arthur oh. uh, comes over actually, and Arthur's there, and he's uh, he's working right at, right alongside him. He kind of looks at you guys, and just keeps working. <clears throat> All right, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Talk to your friends. You got. It. All right. Oh. All right, I I go back across to where I've been working since it seems like it's a hot vein. I spent yeah. the rest of my day there. <laughs> yes, the hot vein. <laughs> okay, you work the rest of your days? You work the rest of your day? Yeah. Okay, you work, you work. You guys are going to roll right now. If anyone rolls a one, it's not going to be fun. Let's go around. And since you worked hard <laughs> today, I'm going to let you roll twice. Cool. Okay, go ahead. Twice the chance of rolling once. <laughs> Six. Three. Five and, vain, five and a one. Five and a one. Okay. Lucky. Three. Five. There you go. Okay, you all find coal today. You roll a three. Uh, you find nothing. Uh, Tom, you roll a six. You find, six maybe. you find crystalline powder. Mm. Okay. Don't so be a Robin tonight. You guys, you guys, <laughs> it's bad when you guys are just happy about finding stuff. Okay, you, got, you guys finish up your shift. You go back. <clears throat> you go back to the uh, the shack at the end of the day. You can role play. Go ahead. And again, let's keep it short because we know the information already. Let's just say that right. we start from. If you're going to tell them, I'm going to start from the, the fact that you're filling everybody in. Is that what you do or not? Yep. Okay. So they now tell they tell you the whole story. What's going on? You're all caught up. <clears throat> take it from there. What? What? He's what, not. What does he want us to do? I don't know, but I want to be clear. I, he's not looking for. He's looking for converts. He's not looking for bodies. He wants to make sure if we go there that we're dedicated to fighting against the people we were imprisoned by. To do what? Get out somehow, probably very dangerously. Most likely we'll die. Yeah, and what are we dedicating ourselves to anyway? Last time we made a deal like this, they were sending us out in the middle of the night to kill thieves and do all stuff that I didn't think I was going to be doing. Now they just want me to do it again for someone else? Uh, he thinks better yeah. than just staying here every day. Is it? Really? Yeah, I think so. This That's must right. be what my father was talking about when he told me to not hunt him down, do the right thing. There was some sort of plan, but I must admit, Vigorish, I don't quite understand it. We're sent down here I... just to escape? Listen, listen, listen. Be cool. Everyone just try and get your voice low. All right. The death was faked. We were brought up there. I don't know about you, but I thought I was going up there in front of all those people to be executed. I wasn't. I should have been. Burr should have been. He wasn't. He was in prison down here. We we're in prison down here. Somebody wanted that to happen. Mm. It doesn't make sense otherwise. That act is there. Laura was all insane about the fact that he couldn't be dead and she had to avenge him so something must be about him there's something going on here and it goes back at least for me as far as when Burr admitted that he did it he was clearly lying when Burr admitted but we were down there in the fire and the fury and he said that yes he was the one who sent the assassin he thought it was okay I don't know about the rest of you but I can tell he was lying then something is going on I do not I'll tell you this right now I'm here another week, another two weeks, I'm jumping off that bridge. I can't do this. This is a chance to get out, and maybe it's a chance to get back. People did this to us. I'm all in. I agree there's more going on, like you say. So, I'm with you. Now let us see what Master Burr has to say tomorrow. <clears throat> Big, come on. Okay. People did this to you. Killed Maya. 
It's a chance. It'll be the only chance. Strike back. Fine. Okay. Really? We're going to jump, jump till tomorrow. Uh, you guys wake up. You go to work. Raise your hand if you go to work. You do not go to work. I got, I got a burr. We're going to burr. Okay, so no one's going to work. Oh. Really? We're all going I'm, to burr? Uh, I'm, well, that's the I idea. Go to burr. <laughs> no, he, right. well, I'll go to work over there where the other people were working near burr. I'll okay. give up my gonna, hot vein. I'm going to I'm gonna keep working. <laughs> Mix in some work with the burr. Stop like, calling it your hot vein. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That, I'm just meaning not, that's it not is the first a vein, time a mining that, vein. Sure. There's nothing. There's sure, no Thomas. double entendre intended. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 1,000 stars. I didn't even from think Scott of that until he yeah. said it. 1,000 stars from Scott Weber for Tony to use as he sees fit. It's oh, two wow. rerolls for me. Yes. Yes. Give me awesome. more powerful. I'm going to use them. I might even use them right now. I, I guess this means they all love that you just keep killing Brooks' characters. They're loving it. They <laughs> want you to be more powerful so you can keep killing Brooke's characters. Yes, yes. Wow. Brooke, right. Brooke, make a new character. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. He stumbled into death. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We're, we're <laughs> I was like, oh, man, she's not even there. <laughs> I already said I'm making, I'm going to make my next uh, character a, a black cat that can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is this be somebody Jeez. familiar? So she can't, she can't speak. No could trouble. You, could just, you? Uh, I could, might have to learn sign language. But could you cry into a be. vial and then mail that vial to Phoenix Studios so I can fix your tears? Here, kitty, kitty. Makes me stroke. Makes me Oscars. Okay, um, <laughs> you guys uh, get up. Uh, you go outside. You start Brooke Ray's hard hot vein <laughs> into chat. Uh, <laughs> I had to say that. Okay, bye. Uh, you, you guys, emoji. you see, um, everyone starts, starts uh, you know, going to work, things like that. You guys start walking down uh, the path into the, the, the bridge, and all of a sudden, in front of you, cuts in front of you fast, you see is Arlock the arrow. And Arlock is just running full steam down ahead of you. Do you change uh, anything you're doing, or no. you just keep walking your way across? He goes, like, past us? Yes. And, like, like, pretty, like 20 feet in front of you, darts out, doesn't even see you or doesn't look at you, doesn't care, you have no idea, darts out and goes up. Mm. He's He's going to kill Burr. I, uh, I, I, I use start my... following. Chase him. I use my psionic mind power on him. You go... <laughs> the thing lights up as you cast it. Oh, no. Nothing happens. <sighs> hey, you're lucky. Nothing happens. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> That's your action, and you try to, just try to catch I'm, up? I'm chasing him, yeah. Okay, you start, you start chasing him. Pickaxe in hand. Chasing? Chasing or no? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm okay, going so to work. The two of you are chasing. Are you chasing or no? <laughs> If I can, yeah. So you two let, let launch off first. You try your spell, doesn't work. You start running. Robin, what are you doing? Chasing or no? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going after. Okay. You start chasing him, uh, going all, all the way down to the other side. You're running. You're starting to get tired. You're you're you're, you're kind of going there. Um, and as you get near the other side, you see people are like looking at this person running, and you see you see Burr is actually there amongst them, and just stand there, and he just starts like backing up away from the bridge, and like looking around. Like for like a rock or something. Like he has no weapons. He has nothing. He's l he's looking around for something, and um, Arlock is fast, really fast. So you guys, he's running across, and you guys are just like basically like falling behind and falling behind and falling behind. I'll give you one more round of action. If you want to do anything, you can do it right now, Rob. I'm just gonna. I'll you keep could just sprinting. Keep, I do have running. running. I'm fast, but uh, I'll also just yell out. Do you have running? That's yes, right. I have. Okay, so you're ability. actually keeping pace with him, but you're not gaining. Okay. Because he has running. So I'll just keep running. Okay. No, you're not I'm running. You're going, just, I'm going to work. You just walk. You're just walk. <laughs> <laughs> Relic. I just try to keep pace. That's all I can do. <clears throat> okay, I try to keep pace. And for you? I have running as well. How far is he from us? Uh, he's probably about 25 feet. For you, it's 30 feet. 20 feet from you. No, yeah, I just keep running. <laughs> okay. You guys um, run up. You see, you see a lot of people who don't like know what's going on, or obviously not a part of it, which is mostly everyone there, pretty much, or maybe all of them. They kind of just back away, and you see, you see, he's kind of just getting against the wall, and doesn't know really what to do, and he's he backs far away from the um, the bridge. 
Um, and you see, like, he, he sees, like, like he's calm. Like, he's just looking, figuring out a way out of this, what he's going to do. But as you see him running, you see that um, Arlok has, like, some something created that he's going to stand with or do something. Arlok rounds, rounds the corner. No one else does anything else of uh, any value to help here, unfortunately. He runs up and um, runs towards Burr, unfortunately. He rolls a uh, critical for him. Runs runs up. I'm going to make you re-roll it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It is now a miss. <sighs> You're protecting your wow. old dad. I want to get the hell out of here. I don't want to yeah. see him die. He's the only one with the No, no, no I don't care out. about him. No love for my dad. It's just I want to get out of here. That's oh, all no. I care about. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he runs. He runs up w w with the blade, comes right up. You see, um, he's. You see, Burr is like this, trying, trying to like get ready to dodge. Burr takes a move, makes a move to the right, dodges out of the way. Arla comes up, goes, Foof. and then Joseph. Okay, so um, Burr comes up to go. To, Burr's much smaller, obviously. Goes up to kind of push him, slides on the rocks, falls right on the edge. And you see, you see Arlock <laughs> trying to steal each other's coins. You see Arlock comes over. Arlock misses. I'm going to give him a reroll, and it's done. It's a 17 again, which is a critical. You see Arlock go, looks looks around and looks at Arthur, and then goes like this. Comes down, and all of a sudden, a hand comes up. I don't think so, buddy. Oh! 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 Holy crap! That is where we stop for today.